Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good to see you all again, and welcome to your daily updates on XRP. Or at least that's what it's starting to look like. I don't actually cover XRP daily, but I do update it quite a bit. So if you are interested in that, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing at the end of this video if you do like the content, if you do like my style of, uh, of analyzing. And if you don't, give me some feedback. I'm always open for feedback. But for now, we'll do a full update uh, on, on XRP because we did have a little bit of a crash. Yesterday, when I Yesterday I, I did an update and I named the video something like uh, XRP crash possible, right? Because it was the truth. It was a little bit of clickbait as well. I'm sorry. That's just the game. Um, but it was a little bit of truth as well with the interest rate yesterday that we had and XRP that was yesterday already. And we actually got a bearish breakout through this level right here at around 51 cents. So what I said is that, well, today is going to be a, a very, very loaded day fundamentally with the interest rate and stuff. Uh, what we need to do to actually regain some strength and to, to get up towards 53 and 54 cents again is we need to break above 51 cents. Because if we just get up there and find a bearish confirmation there, which is what we did, right? So we, we went up there, found a bearish break retest and started dropping down. I said, then it's over. Now, I must say that I did not expect something like this. Th this move was very much manipulated, I think. If you take a look at moves like this, like if, if you see something like this, it's mostly manipulated. And before those moves, we were actually still holding on to that 50 cents level. So it's not entirely honest what happened. Uh, but afterwards, and that is the market we are in right now, afterwards, we, we did get some confirmation. We broke down below the next support level at 48 and a half cents. Also took a bearish break retest off of that. And now we've also broken down below uh, 47 and a half cents. So overall, it very much looks like we're, we'll be dropping down to this level right here at around 45 cents, which, by the way, I do think is an amazing buy level. If you if you zoom out to the daily time frame, you can see that that level has a 200 EMA. There's a strong trend line coming up there. The fourth touch off of that is just a normal key level. So that is a level I already have my price alert set up, as you can see. Um, that is a level from which I will buy XRP probably. I will still reevaluate it if, uh, if if the price gets close. But if you want to have trades like that, by the way, and if you want to know what I'm trading and when I'm trading it with the exact stop loss and take profits, then uh, check out the links down in the description because I have my own trading signal group in which I, I share my trades and I am a profitable trader. So if you want to make some profits and become a better trader as well, there's education a lot as well, then check out those links. But for now, there is actually still... I would say there's still hope. I mean, with XRP, there's always still hope. If there's news coming out about the lawsuit with, with, with Ripple and the SEC, we're going to be bullish, right? We're going to easily break above 48 and a half cents again, and we'll easily rally up to, well, at this point of time, probably 51 cents, because there's quite a lot of resistance between us and 51 cents. But overall, it's also like the dollar strength index is relatively bearish right now. Bitcoin is recovering a bit. It's all just like all cryptos are very much correlated like bitcoin is uh, getting towards 25200 and then ethereum is getting towards this level right here at around 1665 and for xrp that level is this level right here around 48 and 48 and a half cents so what's going to happen is we're going to get up there if we can actually break above that then we'll stabilize a bit between 49 and a half or between 50 cents and 48 cents and from there we'll see again it depends uh, or from there we'll see it depends a lot on uh, on what the dollar strength index does for example what the following moves are after that but it all depends on what we do at that level because at this point of time i think the most likely scenario is that we'll get up there but that we'll just find resistance there and if we find resistance there so we basically have some more bearish confirmation then i think it's more likely that we'll drop down to 45 cents which by the way i mean perhaps it's not the end of the world it's like i said it could be a great buying opportunity so um, yeah, at this point in time, I think this is the most likely scenario, but there is, there is some hope. But if that happens, if we do break above 40 and a half, 48 and a half cents, you know that we'll stabilize, but uh, just, uh, just count me as wrong, all right? Uh, but that's my take on XRP for now. So if you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.